one. So recently I went shopping with one of my girlfriends and we went to Barnes and Noble and picked up some books. And then we went to Bath and Body Works and picked up a bunch of stuff from there. So I thought that I would sit down and do a haul on both of these things, but do the Bath and Body Works on this channel and then the books on my second channel. If you're not subscribed to that channel, the username is Elle's Glitter Gossip and it's my personal channel, whereas this one is my beauty and fashion channel. So this bag is really heavy, but I'm just going to dig in and show you what I got. So the candles were two for $20, which normally they are $20 a piece. They're like $19.50. So I only ever buy them when they're on their two for 20 sale and fall is my favorite time of year to buy candles Just because the scents that are released this time of year are the ones that I'm drawn to the most So I always do a big candle purchase around this time of year So I went in and I picked some up the first one I got is called sweet cinnamon pumpkin And this is the only one that I've already burned I started burning this the second I walked in the door from the store and it smells amazing. So the description for this says a fall harvest favorite inspired by delicious treats found at the farmer's market. Pumpkin pie, vanilla cream, and spice. It does smell a little pumpkin pie -y with like a little bit of spice. I would say that description is right on and I love the way it smells. It doesn't have the biggest scent throw. Um, with some of my candles, leaves especially, which I didn't buy any leaves candles because I bought six last year and I still have like two left. So I just didn't buy any because I told myself it was ridiculous that I had bought six last year and I it's been a year and I still have two of them, even though it's my favorite candle. But that one has a really big scent throw. You can be burning it and your entire room or your entire floor will smell like that candle. I didn't get that with this one, but I do like the way it smells. And then I got one of these little holders you can put your candles in just to make it a little bit more festive and decorated. And I normally buy like one of these each time I do a big candle purchase. And obviously you don't use them up, you kind of collect them. And I have different ones for like different seasons. So this one just has like little leaves all over it. But I like this one how it sits up like this. And I thought that it would be cute with my leaves candle in there because it's like leaves and leaves. I don't know, I thought that was cute. The next candle I got is Autumn. And this one is described as on the brink of sweater weather, this inviting fragrance blends dark pomegranate with red apple and notes of fur. This smells like apple and Christmas tree mixed together. To me, this is much more of a Christmas scent than a fall scent. I like it. It kind of smells like, like a crispy day, like there's like leaves crunching as you walk around. Then I got Marshmallow Fireside. This one smells like s'mores. It smells like marshmallow and chocolate and like wood burning. It's a really yummy scent. This one says a sweet toasty end to a long cold day. Toasted marshmallows and scrumptious vanilla cream blend with a comforting aroma of rich, smoldering woods. That's really funny because for the first time ever, I got that like right on without reading the description first. Normally I'm like way off. I'll be like, oh, it smells like flowers in a valley and mermaids and it will be like, this is supposed to smell like a school bus. Then I got mahogany teak wood and this one I did not like the smell of at all when I first smelled it until I realized what it smells like. This smells exactly like an Abercrombie store. So I can't wait to start burning this to see if it will make my room smell like Abercrombie because I think Abercrombie smells so good. It is a little on the strong side, but maybe mine won't be quite as strong. So this one says, the scent of fine woods, mahogany, cedarwood, and oak highlighted by delicate lavender and geranium notes conjure up an escape to a cozy library on a chilly fall day. Or they conjure up an escape to a room that smells like Abercrombie and Fitch because that's what I think it smells like. Then I got one called Pumpkin Cupcake. Is that not a delicious sounding candle? This one says, the perfect pick from the corner bakery this fall, a spiced pumpkin cupcake with rich buttercream and frosted ginger. Yep, that's pretty much right. It's like pumpkin and like a little bit of a bakery scent. And I don't always love like cakey kind of smells. Like I'm not the person to go straight for like the cupcake scents and the sugar cookie scents and all of that stuff. Um, I know a lot of girls like love that kind of stuff, but for me, I go more for like the spicy, perfumery kind of smells. But this one is just the right amount of fall for me. Last candle that I got is Pumpkin Caramel Latte. And this one says, gather with friends and celebrate the season with this warm, rich blend of creamy pumpkin, spiced caramel, and sweet cream. Oh, this one smells so good. It kind of smells like candy corn and like, it has like a sweet, it smells a little bit like Honey, I Wash the Kids Soap mixed with like, 
like a little bit of like a spicy kind of pumpkin-y scent. This is my favorite one that I got, other than leaves, which I didn't get because I already had, but that's like my all-time favorite one. This one is the new one this year that is my favorite. I just... I think this one smells really, really good. I think you should go smell this one if you're in a store. And it doesn't really smell that coffee-like. I don't normally like coffee-scented things, but I don't even like the smell of my coffee, like that I drink every morning. But that just has like a nice mixture of scents. So then I got two hand soaps. I had completely used up the antibacterial hand soap that was by my sink like the day before I went to go get this stuff. So I knew I actually went in there for hand soap because I was out and that's something you can't be out of like you have to always have hand soap. I got a Peach Bellini Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. This is actually the one that I had run out of. I went through like four of these this summer. This is my favorite scent because it's light and it's fruity but it doesn't leave like a scent that lingers on your hands. I don't like my soap to leave a scent. I like to put lotion on afterwards that has a scent. I don't want them to conflict. But I really like this one. Even though it's a summery scent, I wanted to pick one of these up before they do away with it for the fall. And then I got one fall scent. This is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Antibacterial Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. So it's just like kind of a fall, a more fall scent than the Peach Bellini, which is really summery. But they are both orange, so that's kind of cute. They like look October-y and fallish. But um, the reason I got the foaming as opposed to the moisturizing, because you would think I would have gotten the moisturizing because I have very dry skin, is that I think for hand soap, the foaming one rinses off better. I just think it it's very, like it doesn't leave any film or residue on your hands. And I feel like the moisturizing one for some reason, I just don't like the way it rinses as much as the foaming. Just a few more things. I got another candle holder and this one is in a gold. So I'll show you with the candle inside so you can see what it looks like. And I'd only had silver ones, so I thought the gold was really pretty with the kind of orangey and cream color showing through. I got one miniature antibacterial hand gel in the flavor I Love Watermelon Cherry. And the reason I got this is because I was out of my antibacterial hand gel that I carry around in my purse. And I'm going to be traveling a lot coming up with the book tour, so I just wanted to have some in my purse. And I really like the way this one smells. Then I got a bunch of the little um, plug-ins. So I got two of the actual wallflower like diffusers you actually plug in the wall. So I got a cute little owl. And then I also got a little pumpkin. And then I got a couple of the Cranberry Woods and a couple of the Cinnamon Stick. And these were mix and match six for $24, I believe. So you could get any combination of the bulbs and the little plug-ins. So I got just, I kind of get tired of the scents after a while. So I don't like to get like 12 of one scent because I know I'll get tired of it. So I just got a few of the Cranberry Woods and a few of the Cinnamon Stick. And then I'll go back and get more when I use them all up. But I go through these pretty quickly because I like to have one in my bathroom, one here in my room by my fireplace, and one when you first walk in my door. So I have three going at all times. And you would think that that would be very overpowering, but it's not. It just kind of makes my room smell really fresh when you walk in. It doesn't smell necessarily scented. It just kind of smells like I don't know, like circulated and fresh. So I really like that. So that was everything that I got at Bath and Body Works. I'm going to film my book haul now, which I will upload onto my second channel. So you can head on over there if you're interested in seeing the other stuff that I bought. But um, I also bought this top and I think Ingrid also bought it in cream. So you might see her wearing it in her videos as well. And it is from a store called Angle, A-N-G-L. And it was at the Beverly Center and my cat is meowing at the door. so. I'm gonna go let him in and plug these in. I was waiting until after I did my video to use these because I wanted to show them to you guys because they get kind of icky once you put them in the wall, but I'm so excited to use like my new scents and just have my room smell so good and have it, I don't know, just, I just love it. I love scents. So I'll see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.